Tonight's other major headlines, the coronavirus hitting a new milestone. More than 16 million cases worldwide, 4.2 million in the U.S. alone. And we're now learning FEMA is issuing a call for medical reinforcements in five key states. The grim number on the rise, more than 146,000 American lives lost. More than 1,000 deaths for each of the last five days. Florida now with the second highest number of COVID cases in the country behind California. Weeks before the start of school, children in that state, Florida, testing positive at an alarming rate. More than a dozen states reporting major delays in testing. Some people waiting nearly three weeks for results. America's testing czar defending the Trump administration, insisting anyone who needs a test can get one. But many complaining it's waiting for the results that's becoming the real problem. Here's ABC Stephanie Ramos. Tonight, the devastating death toll soaring. More than 1,000 COVID fatalities a day for the past five days. In Florida, an alarming surge in infections among children. Nearly 8,000 under the age of 17 testing positive for the virus in the past week. She was like none other. Nine-year-old Kamora Lynam is the state's youngest COVID tragedy. She was resilient and strong. And she could put a smile on your face just by looking at her. Kamora's family says she had no known underlying health conditions. Her family taking her to the hospital with a fever. They say she was never tested for COVID. What did they test for? What did the doctors say could possibly be wrong? They gave her uh, some kind of uh, medicine and then pretty much um, she, she went back to the house. Kamora died two days later at home. She was tested for COVID during the autopsy. The family says her story serves as a warning. And until we have it under control, we cannot afford to put our kids in school because we will have many more deaths. And with Florida officials starting to look at ways to reopen bars, doctors are worried. Any type of reopening has to be done so carefully. And the idea that one is thinking about reopening a bar in this environment is uh, really irresponsible. And in Houston, an unprecedented 150 fatalities this month alone. We have had more people to die in July than March, April, May, June combined. And tonight, with the debate over masks raging, new video out of a violent confrontation in a San Diego park. What are you doing? This man says a woman pepper sprayed him because he wasn't wearing a mask and eating in a restricted area. The woman was not arrested or charged. At least 15 states reporting COVID testing problems. Some people waiting up to 19 days for results. In March, the president said this. Anybody that wants a test can get a test. Today, the nation's testing czar admitting that's not the case. What is true now is that anyone who needs a test can get a test. We are in the middle of a serious pandemic. Let me be clear, we have to prioritize our testing. All right, Stephanie Ramos joins us now, still thinking about that devastating news about little Kimora. But Stephanie, I want to get back to that developing news you reported earlier. FEMA asking for skilled medical personnel in five states facing recent surges in cases. That's exactly right, Tom. Those states being Arizona, California, Texas, Louisiana, and Florida. FEMA is also asking for funding and medical supplies. They say these states are in urgent need. Tom. Stephanie Ramos with that new reporting tonight. Stephanie, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.